Fuck this job. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. It's too much work. Who would have who would have thought that getting a job would involve having to actually do it or work at all or do anything? And now the stakes are way too high. You know what I had to do turning on the game today, chat? One, it was a very good decision for me to call it where I did last time because mother of god. These devs really, really, for real, no jokesies, really wanted me to mash E on anything. Like, every single pixel on the ground, including stuff that isn't even on the ground, like just a blank canvas, they wanted me to mash E to pick up everything. And good news is, I now have... I have now progressed to exactly behind the robot that killed me, to a, to a printer. I have saved, and I still have a surplus of three save papers. Uh, as a result of literally standing around for about 40 minutes, mashing E on everything. Uh, thanks devs. Really solid design choice, uh, making me, um, go on a 20 minute detour, mashing E on, um, a paper on the ground. Uh, but that looks like trash. And also a tile on the ground that has nothing on it, not even trash. I guess there was a candy bar underneath the tile. I guess, I guess Brian walked up to the tile, pulled, uh, jimmied it up, got like a, got like a knife or something, used his plastic knife, pushed the tile up. There was a stash of candy bars underneath the tile. And we got that too. I, I'm not gonna get, I, I, I can't, I don't want to get mad on my last stream of this because I want to beat this game with an open mind. But mother of God, I at least had to say it, chat. What were they thinking? Uh, why? <laughs> so technically we have enough to get the uh, water breathing contract, which by the way, full disclosure, I did have to look up what the fuck that was for because I was now increasingly nervous that I was going to get soft locked at the end of the game because I didn't have that contract the same way not having the poison one gets you soft locked from the entire game if you don't get it. So, I don't technically need the water breathing one to beat the game, but it helps at the end. Did you just beat the game? No, but I had to fucking look it up because <laughs> I didn't want to fucking get to another hour in and then find out, oh, the last, oh God, the ending is right behind that very deep pool of water. So this game expects you to just know this shit so, uh, yeah, I, I looked it up just to make sure that I wasn't going to get gate kept, um, live on stream. We should be, we should be crystal clear, chat. We should be good to go going forward. Which is good. So, yeah, we are beating this game tonight. Um, nothing will stop me from completing Brian Pasternak's old bitch snips journey, um, through death. Business Incorporated. When we last left off, everyone died. Uh, as as the business as the business name would suggest, they all died. Who would have thought that at the end of, that any day at Death Business Incorporated would involve half of the employees getting uh you know whacked? But yeah, they're all dead. Only two people standing is old Brian. Uh, and technically some weirdo in floor nine, but I don't even know if he's real. And then... The CEO himself. Super Toad. <laughs> Which we're gonna have to go talk to him soon. Now, before I can actually progress with completing, uh, our, our friend Sintra's, uh, robot, robot body, I believe I should also, um, Make sure I freed all of my friends from their cocoon prisons. So the first part of this session is gonna be a little bit of exploration to the floors we hadn't gone to. Now that I've saved at a decent spot, it's a little bit better to do. I can do it now comfortably. Cause um, I'm fairly certain after I complete the, the battle borg, uh, there's no turning back. So I need to, I need to wander and do some, do some light puzzling, but that's okay. I, I can I can handle that anything and now that I have three witch papers I can handle anything I've got a lot more food now too on account of the stashes of candy bars people hide underneath their fucking floorboards so uh did you search up the names no I didn't do anything like that I just searched up like I just made sure that 
like what, like any gatekeeping bullshit that the game had, I skimmed through to make sure that I wasn't going to get fucked live on stream. <laughs> Which is, I think, a pretty solid strategy for any streamer to do if they want to have a functional story game live on stream. So I, I personally saw to it that I won't get fucked by the devs on this one. Oh. So yeah, we're ready. Oh man. Imagine swallowing a mouthful of soda so bad it literally almost kills you. Oh, oh God. Oh, like. I tried swallowing it with my lungs. <coughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, chat. So, when we're done with this game tonight, uh, I'm, we're going to have to see what I want to do next, because this is probably going to be like two hours, two and a half, maybe. Depends on how fast I go. Um, that was expected. Gonna be honest with you, I took yesterday off because I was feeling like absolute dog shit. And I still sort of feel like absolute dog shit. I think I'm sick with something. Uh, but, you know, I'm gonna keep pushing through. Because, uh, I want to. May not go super long, though. May This might be like, if, if it ends on a weird note and I don't really want to do another game, this might just be a self-contained short stream, and I'll be back tomorrow. Just to get, like, a little bit of extra rest. I just wanted to beat this before it was so far gone that no one cared about the ending anymore. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this today. Because like, if I wait much longer, it's going to enter outer wild space. And it's not like it has five hours of gameplay left. It's like a little bit left. We're pretty much at the end. So um, we'll do this. Then I've got either maybe some 60 parsecs. Maybe we'll go back to 60 parsecs. Uh, maybe some... I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I have another thing as well. Uh, a secret indie game that's not it's on steam it's a it's a it's not something i ripped off of like a fucking like bootleg site it's called speed dating for ghosts which would be a smooth hour of my time i could w i could waste away and then turn off my stream so we might do that there's a couple there's a couple of games i have and a couple that are like you know not super long that i can just sort of jam out to round out the length a little bit that doesn't sound good Y you don't sound good. Stalker. No, we played Stalker. I do Stalker on weekends, guys. You can... You can look forward to more Stalker when Stalker happens again in, like, five or six days. <laughs> Cataclysm? Soon. I, I haven't had a lot of time. Well, actually, I would have had more time, but uh, I started playing a lot of Fire Emblem. Because I'm a big fan of those, that like, type of strategy game. So, it's a lot of my time between being sick and shit may have been going into playing Fire Emblem chat. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. But one day, I'll play Cataclysm. Weeb. Hey, hey now. I am of the mindset that no game should be gatekept. Uh, by- should be- should be, like, fucking down- put down because of its art style. Understand? Understand? That is- that is my professional streamer opinion. Um, as you've seen when I played games such as Ticket, uh, which are fucking steamy, hand-drawn paint things. Same thing goes for anime bullshit. If the gameplay is good, I couldn't give less of a shit if it's literally colored boxes. Like, oh, here is orange box again. Here he comes! This is the orange box. He uses he uses a sword to kill. I it's just like I don't really care. I, I've never really cared about like the the art styles of games don't put me off of playing it if the gameplay's good. That's always been my deal. And I think it's a pretty good deal to go forward with, because it means uh, you know. It means I can look at games for their objective gameplay issues <laughs> instead of Instead of, uh, you know, coming at it for which fucking, you know, artist they hire to make it, you know? But that's just me. Let me catch up on some notifications quick. I don't want to waste too much time today, because, like, my throat already feels like it's... It's funny, I don't get fucking... I don't get colds that much. I don't get anything. I just get throat shit. 
and I just that's just been my yesterday and today sort of so hopefully I can still do the voices I need to do for whatever characters still linger in this fucking office and hopefully people like Sosa are dead forever <laughs> I don't know how else to say it chat I pray to the voice gods that she is dead I hope this I hope she's dead because if she's alive and I have to voice her um, that'll be the end of my fucking career. I'm sorry. That's how it is right now. That's how it is. What? You're gonna fucking D? You're gonna, like, colon D me when I'm fucking- Look. That's how it is. Yeah, I guess colon D would be a smile face, wouldn't it? That'd be a big smile. I mean, look. I'm reckoning the only real voice I'm gonna have to do today is gonna be that little bastard, Hugo, which is fortunately one of the easiest voices I have in my arsenal. So, I'm not too worried today. I think I'll be alright. Honestly, the game that sketches me out more is playing that speed dating game. <laughs> if I play that after this, that one is- that one's a bad idea. That's my bad idea game. I, I picked it out because I thought it looked really funny. Like, really funny, like a really good stream game, but simultaneously, uh, wow, 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 that might kill me, but we'll see when I get there. I'm gonna get through these notifications real quick, real quick. Iswa, four months prime, C pots to await six months. Hey, tomato, my tomato is getting real crusty. Yeah, that's what happens when you reach like six months onwards. You get a little gross. Grandpa Piss, five months I've returned for another thrilling episode of Yuppie Psycho, the final episode, in fact. Thank you. Luft Waffles, 294, five months prime, good streamer. Take your prime ration and get back to the stream fields to work. Okay, thanks. PK Fox, five months, thank you. Just Grimely, six months. Holy tomatoes, it's been six months. Have stream. Thanks. A brick house. Two months. The sound of Scooby-Doo and Shaggy running is the sound of piss hitting the side of a toilet bowl. Changed my mind. Hang on. I wonder if this is an effect that's like on YouTube. Scooby... Running sound effect. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Let me just silence this for a second. <laughs> if you got pee that sounds like that when it hits a toilet, you should go to a doctor. Like ASAP, you're dying. You've got a disease. You're like, you got like... Yeah, maybe if you're passing like a thousand kidney stones at the same time. <laughs> it would sound like that. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> why- why is your pee chunky, bud? Hey, bud. What's going on? Your pee's got bones in it. It's not supposed to have bones. The only Nick Tater, thanks for gifting a sub. Smigooly. 64, eight months. Here's my monthly salary. Please spend it well, Mr. Tomato. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, thank you for the 100 bits. I can't believe this is Tomato's last stream before getting, before the thing in his vents wakes up. The last stream before the thing in my vents wakes up. Fun fact, um, I don't have vents in this area. <laughs> I have a window AC, I have an AC unit in my window in this place. There are no vents, chat. I, nothing in the vents is gonna get me. Uh, there literally aren't vents. Unless there's- unless there are vents I've seen. Um... Oh, you talked about the vents within the AC thing. I uh, whatever. Budabist. Two months, thank you. Gales, three, nine, three, four, seven months. Moth drops, two months. Hey Tanto, thank you for the great content. Love you, man. Thanks. Casual Canuck 24. Tier 2 subscription for two months. Thank you so much, Casual. 
Uh, Sincare, four months prime. Crosswaka, two months prime. Great timing, just finished the last VOD. Good shit. Trauma 119, seven months. Bastion Hollow, six months. Hey, thanks for the streams. Can I get some water? No. There's never gonna be any. I don't understand why you all keep asking. Lucy the Otter, two months. Crunchy pea, tomato drop. Is all they say. Well, chat. Look. Let's just get through this goddamn game before I lose my shit, alright? I gotta find, we're gonna find all of our friends before we go. I got some ideas. I mean, most of them are just floor by floor. So if we find one on one floor, we can just go to the next floor. Unfortunately, because of when I saved, we are gonna have to navigate around Robot Boy. But I think that's okay. I, I, I'm I now keenly aware that I panicked when I saw him last time and forgot that there were tables literally anywhere that I could have hidden from him under. So that was my bad. I'm not, I was never mad at the devs particularly for that one. Just more of hiding shit everywhere uh, in, uh, almost asinine spots by the end, um, but that's whatever. All right, we're gonna beat this, and then we're gonna do some other crazy shit or not. Oh, by the way, before I move on to playing, um, we'll be doing tabs, totally accurate battle simulator, in a bit. Uh, not today. I s I know I I mentioned I might do it today. Um, we won't be doing it today because I just saw Dev posted a teaser for the new factions So I'm gonna wait until he releases those because he showed like footage of them So uh, I'm going to be doing it once he adds the new classes. I Think he's adding like the Renaissance one. So I'm gonna wait for that and then we'll play it But yeah, that's the plan. That's the game plan tick test toast eight months still on the VODs. Take care brother. Man, I gave everyone a lot of time to do these VODs. A lot of people watch the Yuppie Psycho VODs, which I'm happy with. I get this is a sort of a VOD stream. About half the people show up for it live, the other half are still catching up. Uh, but damn, I gave you a lot of time this time, Jet. What the fuck? I deliberately waited. I, I held it for you, bud. I held the door for you politely and waited. I'm not shaming you or anything. It's just more of surprising how many people we have that watch like VOD stuff. Makes me f I, I, I want to accommodate everyone and wait like as long as possible to like continue stories and shit. I actively try to, but I don't think that I don't think my plans are working because it seems like most people still can't catch up most of the time. So I guess I should just gun it most of the time instead. Griffiths ninety two six months. Crungle, two months. You're a cool streamer, thank you. I gotta sneeze! Whoa! Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, okay. That's it. That's it. Enough of that. How did I capture this game before? It was window capture. I remember it all like it was yesterday. Bada bing. Hey chat. Take a look. Take a look. Hell yeah, baby. So here are our options. I'm already keenly aware that I will not need to actually purchase the water thing to beat this game. I won't need the water contract. Now, I would say it's advisable to get the water contract to breathe underwater for the last session uh, if I don't want to be screaming at my monitor. So um, I may end up buying it, but I'm gonna do other stuff first and then decide because I'm also keenly aware that it will give me more witch paper soon. But I have, got, this is all that is available to me uh, in the current map. I have literally mashed E on every single floor. I've gotten the cheeses, where there are cheeses. Uh, anything that's still missing is as a result of shit that I can no longer access. We don't have any choice anymore but to move forward. Understand? Now, for those that don't remember what happened in this game last time we played it, 
Brian was outed as being the witch hunter publicly, very publicly, by the one and only Hugo, also known as the Super Toad. We'll be visiting him soon up on a CEO office floor. Um, and he told, he had everyone sit down and watch as, uh, as I tried to stab Kate with a plastic fork, I mean knife, as you can see. Now, as soon as I was about to stab her, the witch showed up and murdered everybody, every single one of them. Now, there are still some people in the building uh, wrapped up in little witch cocoons, which I have to save now. That's what we're gonna go and do right now. We're gonna try to decipher who the fuck is who and just do some light exploration to areas I, I thought of exploring while I was gathering shit before. Can we watch the VHSs? Uh, funny story about the VHSs. And this is- Oh! That reminds me. <laughs> that reminds me. Hey guys, that VHS tape that, uh, we got in the painting room? I didn't get it in the safe, do you wanna know why? Because the devs... God bless them. God bless them. Uh, expected me to inter- They expected me to interact with, uh, interact with a fence post. And if you didn't interact with the fence post, when you did the painting puzzle, uh, the VHS doesn't spawn. So, very good devs. We'll watch all the VHSs on a YouTube video later. Because, um, they just fuck it. they pulled that shit with me and I had just come off of 30 minutes of picking up shit on the ground. So I actually screamed and just walked away. And went to safe, which is why I'm here now. <laughs> I'm already aware that those VHS tapes have no impact on story. They're just easter egg like bonus films so you guys can also watch them on your own if you want later uh i i can't explain how little of a shit i give um when it comes to stuff like that i can't give less of a shit all i care about is brian getting out of hell tower tower of death so we're gonna be going floor by floor and looking for anything that's alive i also i'm not entirely sure where my uh robot friend brain went cuz uh I think she just stuck upstairs somewhere cuz uh, she was definitely with me at one point I wonder if she'll follow me oh there she is yeah she's just standing at floor three so once I go in there and I fully construct the, the, the battle board uh, pretty sure the story is gonna sort of be on its set path so I have to go and do whatever shit I want to do everywhere else first so we are looking for cocoon people and we're saving them now, chat, refresh my memory. Did I get... I got a guy on this floor, right? It was fucking... It was what's-his-name? The one that talks like, uh, Goldman. The, the fucking... The, the rich boy, right? I got rich boy in here. I got Chapman already. Okay. So everyone else, and this is all I know about it, is just deposited somewhere in the building. I know where one person is. Unfortunately, if you fuck up once, they're gone forever, so, uh... This is, that's why I want to save now and do these now. Because right now we're in a good spot for me to just reload if I fuck up and just go back to them. Uh, minus the fact that the robot is, you know, lurking about. But fortunately, um, now that I know, now that I know that it's just him, he's the only one, uh, he'll never get me again. He's got a very limited, uh, line of sight. So first one I'm going to get is the one in that long hallway. Which means we got to go past... The creepy mole guy. Wherever. Just hop in here. There's that thing in here. In, in our old office floors. The old uh, mole rat with the, with the filing cabinets on him. But he's not that. He's actually not that bad compared to the others. But yeah. Uh, I had to run through this entire place. Um, spamming E on literally anything that I could interact anything with in order to get uh, my my papers. So I have, fortunately, enough that I'm comfortable progressing the game now. Hey, that sound, chat. That sounds pretty good. This, the sound reminds me, and I know the sound, the audio of it doesn't sound the same, but it's consistency sounds the same way, um, the same way I sound when I, it's the middle of the night and I'm trying to open up a bag of chips while my entire family is asleep. The really quiet, ee, ee, 
like trying to open it quietly while simultaneously knowing I have to force this fucking thing open now before someone hears me. So it's sort of like, ee, like you're not trying to make any noise, but you know you're gonna make noise anyways. But you're trying to do it just quietly enough that no one's gonna actually hear it. You know what I mean? All right, game time chat. Let's get focused. All right, so this is someone. This is someone we know. I'm not sure who, really, uh, but what better time to completely wing it than right now when there's absolutely nothing stopping me because I could reload 10 seconds before it. Who am I? Uh, you're probably not, you're definitely not Cater Tony, so we're down to four options. Now, you're definitely not Marta. Cause Marta wouldn't be here. Marta, Marta's, Marta's Sosa. So we're down to three. And Nay wouldn't be on this floor either. He's the tech guy. So we're down to Jenna or Irina. So I'm just going to do like a fucking 50-50. Eh. Eh. I got it. Okay. And just like that, the magic happens, chat. The master gamer completely wings it somehow and gets it right, baby. So now, we know that one. Now, I can't just save. Um, we're not gonna be doing that. But, uh, we will go to the next one. Fortunately, I know where the next one is. Cause, um, I may or may not have accidentally wandered to him while fucking mashing E on the ground looking for items. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I already know where the next guy is. He's next to Cheese Man. He's next to the goblin, chat. Uh, we want to stop by the goblin. Because he's going to have our next one. Alright. The goblin, that's right, the cheese man. I actually got him cheese. I don't know, I found cheese on a fucking pile of bodies in the ba in the fucking canteen. No shit. So... Uh, this is actually one of the most harmless monsters in the entire thing. See? He's trying to get me right now, but he can't. Because <laughs> he's an idiot. Uh, he's one. Very cool stuff, devs. Hey, what are you up to now? Some cool shit there. Yeah. Alright, I, I, I just came out here for a second. Just to try to reset his pathing. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. We're going through the bathrooms. Gonna go talk to the goblin for a second chat. Uh, V Jack Ripper V, thank you for the subscription. Krungle, two months, thanks for the subscription as well. And Kyomex, thanks for the eight months. Sup, man. What do you wish to talk about? Nothing. So. For those who don't remember, this is the mystical goblin of the forest. He'll sell me witch paper for a slice of cheese. I don't have any. Fortunately, what I do have is a decent amount of food this time, chat, compared to last time. Uh, he also sells the water contract, which ideally I want to get, but I'm holding off on until after I've done all the way up to building the android. Um, because I don't want to get fucked. Really. But let's go into the woods, shall we? Because there's another person here. This person I found just by wandering like a dumbass. I was looking for paper. Um, and they were just here. Squirming. Now, I've started to realize the one thing, the one hint that there is for all these things beyond their location, and that's the, uh, blood. All their blood is different. And I think that it's pretty much like what injury they had during the canteen thing. Cause, uh, cause that, that's what was up with, uh, Irene, Irina, well, she was pouring blood out of her mouth. Now, now I can operate on elimination because I have no idea who the fuck that is based off of that. Cause I don't remember shit from that. At the very least, I can eliminate the ones I don't remember. I mean, the ones I do remember from the list. Yeah. It's definitely not Kate. It's definitely not Tony. We already did Tony. No, wait, we didn't technically do Tony because of the save. So we gotta go back and do Tony. That's why he's still on the list. But we know it's not... We know it's not Marta. Because Marta was, like, 
bleeding out of her eyes. I remember that perfectly. And Danae didn't have an injury. No, he was bleeding out of his ears. His ears were bleeding. So, by process of elimination, chat, it's Jenna. Bada bing. And just like that, I've won the whole game. I am going to free all my friends from stupid business world. And then I'm going to fucking get a job at the deli. I'm gonna work at a- I'm gonna work at like a, a butcher shop or something. Something- something- something more appropriate to my talents of murdering people. Uh, I'll murder- I'll murder animal flesh and cook it into nice meals for people. Cut it up into nice small slices for people to take home. Okay. Next up on our list, we're gonna go drop- we're gonna go talk to Tony. We're gonna do Tony's thing. Let's go grab Tony so he's not on the list. Cause that one's nice and easy. Okay. Also, I'm now keenly aware that, uh... The, the croaking tells us where the, the, the guys are, which I didn't realize before. So this here's Tony. Who am I? You're Tony. Who's not really my friend, to be honest, so I'm not even sure why I'm helping Tony. He was honestly the worst guy here. Um, which means, now at least, I've narrowed it down to the point where I don't think I can fuck up another one of those cocoon puzzles. Which is nice. So, we're at least free of that, chat. Which means I can probably make my save soon. Uh, or at least get the, uh, contract. Depends on if I'm gonna actually f run into another fucking witch paper, because if chat... Chat, I, I don't want to alarm you. Okay, but I'm going to alarm you right now by telling you this as clearly as possible. So please, um, sit down. Sit down for this one. If I buy the water contract and I die, I am never beating this game on stream. Like, if I haven't saved my game, I buy the water contract, I start to progress, and then I die, and they don't give me another at some point to save again. Um... I'm literally going to quit the game forever, um, and never do it again. So yeah, just so you know. Because I'm not sure if it's going to give me another witch paper, and I've definitely scoured everything now. So it's either I get the water contract or I don't. Technically I don't need the water contract to beat any part of the game, it just makes a second, just makes a later part easier. That's all I know. Just got here and he's already quitting? Hang on. Yeah, man, I'm done playing. I've quit. I've given up. That was their first contribution to the chat. That was the first thing they ever said in my in my chat. Can you pause for me? Yeah, I got you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't got you. I I haven't gotten you the whole fucking time, pal. All right, next on our list. Uh, would probably be to go up. Hang on, let me think about this. Who haven't I? Where haven't I gone? Where I've actually seen people. I think I need to explore the fifth floor more, for sure. Yeah. Let's go to the fifth, fo fifth floor. There was something I wanted to check, anyways. Because the archive. Here's the thing, chat. Is that the archive room is totally up. Oh. I would go to the archives, but the archives is blocked. I can't go to the archives. Um, that was one thing I noticed on my own time. Let me show it to you. Let me, let me, let me show you what I mean. We can't get to the archives. Actually, that's not the archives. The archives is here. We can't get to the archives. It's all fucked. No, I don't have time. But I have a plan. All right, I've got a, I got a plan on my hand. All right. Because I may or may not have been able to observe a couple of weird things while I was, uh, picking up- While I was literally mashing E on everything that moved. May or may not have seen things and been like, oh, yeah, that's there. So, you know. And I may or may not have, during that time, noted that thing right there. 
Note the spacing. Note, note the fact that it made space, and when I walked up here and interacted with this while collecting garbage on the ground, Brian said, there's an air duct, but it's too high. So, yeah, I can climb up there. That's what I'm thinking, Chad. That's what I'm thinking. You think they wouldn't, you think they wouldn't be giving me VHS tapes? If I can't get there somehow? Oh, no, no, no. They'd, 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 they'd knock something over and make sure there's still a way to get there. This is my way to floor seven. Also, I'm still hearing the croaking, which means I have to operate on the assumption there's someone in that computer or inside this. Nope. All right. There's someone inside this computer. Positive of it. Might not be in... Uh... Hang on. I'm not hearing croaking anymore. Okay. They're not in there, technically. Ah... Uh... Did I ever loot? Hang on, did I ever loot? I'm, I, I think I looted everything in this entire place, but let's make sure. Yeah, no, I got everything here. Okay. Yeah, you might think you're smart, game. You might, you might, you, game, you might think you're fucking smart. Is it in the vent? Hang on. I have the cardboard for this. Let's do, let's not, let's not get sidetracked. Cardboard first. Stack these. I can get to the air duct, but it's closed, I, and I can't open it barehanded. All right. I'll try to unscrew the grid. We're here. The archives. This drops us off exactly where I need to be. Oh, the slamming is done, I think. Nope. <laughs> I was wrong. Give me, like, one more witch paper randomly, devs. Come on. I know you guys enjoy just giving me random items randomly. Give me one. Give me it. All right, well, we know this is Sosa. <laughs> if they're here, that means it's Sosa. Yeah, that's Sosa. I can tell by the eyes, chat. That's Sosa right there. Free her. Who am I? All right, so that's Marta. All right. No. We'll see if that stopped the croaking in the other spot. Also, please, I'm begging you. I guess we can watch the VHS tapes I couldn't get on account of the fact that I fucking... I literally, I think I would have almost had them all if I didn't lose one of the VHSs to not interacting with something before an event happened. But that's whatever. We, we can watch the others. You guys want to see the weary human face? The weary human face. Another one of Sosa's many classics. That movie sucked. Hang on, all right, maybe it makes more sense if we watch Apparition right after. Why is that dude sniffing that guy's toes? What is this? What is this statue? Hey, did they just like, did they constantly forget to empty out their drive? Is that why these are all so short? Like there's no space on these VHSs. These have all been like, they're wasting VHS tape at this point. They've been doing like 10 second movies. Fired, what's fired? This is, this should have been filmed. Ah.
Wow. Ah, it makes ah, this makes sense now. Hang on, this little this is all gonna come together with the last movie. Uh right here, chat. This all it all makes sense as soon as we Make watch this one right here. This is Alright, I don't know what's going on. I I'm lost. I I am I'm confused now. Now I'm I've lost track of the lore. Is that a duck horse? There's duck horse! Wow. All right, well. Ugh. Um, yeah, well. Something's blocking the door from the other side. You know, you'd think if that was the case, they would give me an I- Oh. Chat. This was my thought, all right? What if, what if, the bot, the, 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 the little bug cocoon was in a computer. But what if it wasn't in our computer? You know what I mean? Let's at least check. I was right. Oh, I'm so good today! Man, oh man! I wouldn't have got any of this shit right yesterday. Well, the time when I fucking died last time. But man! Also, how'd you get in here? <laughs> how the? Okay, so this is this is an A. I can tell by his bleeding ears. Who am I? An A. <sighs> All right. I'm almost completely positive of one thing right now. Um, Kate is probably on the top floor or somewhere somewhere that's not currently accessible because I have gone to almost every floor. And now that I like think about the croaking that I've heard, I've gotten all of them that I've heard now. Meaning, uh, yeah. The hive, maybe? The hive isn't accessible. Last I checked. A lot of the floors aren't accessible as a result of the catastrophe. And I'm fairly certain the hive is one of them? I can check. Let's check the hive. Yeah, hive is blocked off completely. Can't even- you can't get to the hive if you wanted to. Now, Jack, here are my options. And this is a big option, alright? Either I use one of my witch papers now to save, uh, which would be the smart, very wise thing to do, now that I've done all this. Or I use it to buy that fucking contract. And, uh, help me with a later part of the game. So that part doesn't fuck me up. I think I'm gonna save. Cause I think it'll give me a witch paper and I'll be able to backtrack later. And if I don't save right now, I'm going to be stream fucked instead of just hot, like, in a hard spot. So I'm gonna save. Our goal now, chat, is to find one witch paper. If we find one witch paper, I will be able to get the contract. Or I find one cheese. I think finding witch paper is more likely than finding a cheese. But there's something I want to do, actually, before I, before I do the robot thing. And that's, have a word with the brass. Before I, I just wanna, I just wanna have a word with him, Chad. I wanna go up to top. I wanna go up to floor nine. Cause you can actually go in here. Go up to floor 10. Just go in. He's in there. He's actually in here. I wasn't actually expecting there to be anyone. I, I just knew I could open the door. The duck man. <laughs> it's soup. It's super toad. Hang on. Fight like there might be witch paper in here. <laughs> there he is. And I think I just saw he had a knife. Uh, 
<laughs> Do I? I I'm gonna. <laughs> Super Toad? That's the neck! Have you come to know the great secret of Centricorp past the neck? <laughs> the true identity of Super Toad! It's me, Hugo! Ah, 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 ah. You're in shock! You didn't expect that! I want to talk to you, Hugo. Of course! You can tell me your concerns and suggestions. A CEO is there to help his employees. Well? Can you get off the table? Oh! What a fool! I want to know. Wait. You're not still drunk, are you? You say very hurtful things when you are. No, I, I'm not. I'm not. I want to know why you've been harassing me. You've been standing in my way this whole time, every step I took. What have I done to you? Look, Brian. I'll be honest with you. I knew you were a hunter, and that could jeopardize my promotion. I tried to go the easy way. I told you not to take your job too seriously, that you should just wander around like everyone else, but you turned out to be a very you turned out to be very stubborn and kept making progress. That's why I tried to get you out of the way. I don't get it. What's your relationship with the witch? Oh man. Are you a private detective? Relax a little man. It's just you and the super toad talking, alright? It's not a not a big deal. Without the witch, I couldn't have made it this far. I'll put prey on, the pl on a plate for her, send people her way, as long as it's in my best interest, of course. Jeez, Hugo, really laying it out there that you're evil so casually. But as dangerous as she is, how come she hasn't killed you yet? Well, you always keep a couple of tricks in your pocket. Does the name Corvo mean anything to you, Brian? He told me everything I needed to know to keep the witch in check. I saw Corvo's body in that poison pool. You... you killed him? <laughs> Haven't you seen the fat ass I have? Uh, yes, I have. Why, yes, why, yes, Hugo, I have seen your fat ass. You make everyone see your fat ass, Hugo. It's all you know how to do, Hugo. Everyone has seen your, your your fat ass. I could never kill anyone, Brian. I've seen him mur- I, We saw his, the corpses. We saw the corpses, chat. When he ran through that crowd of people in the hive. We saw all the bodies. It's the witch who does it. Uh-huh. Uh. Don't give me that face. I've been working on this for a lot of years, okay? You are- I've only been here a day, and everything you've done, I can't imagine all the people you've trampled on all these years. Don't you think about anyone but yourself? That's the face of someone who's definitely trying hard to think about any time he's been actually human his entire life. A complete husk of a man. The Super Toad. He feels nothing for the people he steps on chat. Nothing. What about all the people who came to celebrate your birthday today? You don't care, of course. Get the fuck out of here. I'm no more selfish than you are. All day long, I've only seen you do things for your own good. That, that's not true. You come, you came in here with your tail between your legs, making me feel sorry for you. A class G, poor thing. But entering directly into the fifth floor of the world's largest company? It's not my fault that I belong to a lower class, and besides, this company takes advantage of poor people like me and uses them as bait for the witch. <gasps> of all of us! Everyone in this company is bait, not just you, Brian. Past the bitch. What's he gonna do? You're lucky you have a last name. You know what mine is? What? Uh, 
I thought it was Hugo. Hugo is not my last name. In fact, it's not even my name. <laughs> what? When you're born a Class R, they just put a number on you. Class R? Having a last name would mean you're having a family. Having met your parents, that's a privilege. Are you Class R? What do you care? I, I, I didn't know that. Because I don't go around proclaiming it. But hey, one day, if you want to have a cup of coffee, I can tell you all about the shitty life I had until I got here. Ugh. I feel grossed out even talking to this guy. Class R. Literally digits for a name. <laughs> it was nice talking to you, 1545. It was really sweet. Get this straight, Pasternak. No one can trample on others more rightfully than I can. No one in this company deserves this position more than I do. Nobody, Brian. Well, is there anything else? Ah, uh, no. Perfect, well, you're fired. Uh, what? Despite our differences, I agree with you, Brian. Central Corp shouldn't hire random people to take on the witch, and I'm committed to ending it. The least I can do for you is give you a letter of dismissal and let you go home. Isn't that what you wanted, to escape this nightmare? Well, yeah. Take this. You get a dismissal letter. Just go down to the lobby and go out the door, the same way you came in this morning. I just won the game. Fuck you guys. I'm done. Is there anything I can steal? Remote control, but it doesn't work. I need two batteries for it. I have an idea for once I've, uh, you know, left. Later. Now, what's this over here? Oh, that's the exit. I think I'm gonna leave. Yeah. I'm totally down to abandon all my friends. What have they done for me lately? You know what I'm saying, chat? What have, what have they done for me lately? Is the robot ever coming? Hello? Oh, now he's coming. Man. Oh, he just doesn't patrol this far. Why is, I thought he patrolled farther. Okay. Well, um. I'm gonna go and leave. They're not really my friends, chat. Uh, Salsa Blanca is right. Um, I've known everyone here for about five hours. <laughs> and let me tell you what, majority of them have the depth of a small puddle of water um, when it comes to my interactions with them. Um, most of them, most of them have, have, uh, have about zero uh, redeeming qualities. Ine was all right. The rest of them, sort of lame. It's strange, but having the dismissal letter, I feel like I'm no longer tied to the company. I can finally go back to my proper place, safe and sound. I don't know what happened to my workmates, and I couldn't say goodbye to Sintra, but who cares, right? Damn right, Ryan. I never should have come to this hell in the first place, not my problem. This time, let's go up there and try something else I thought of. I got another plan, chat. Another dastardly plan. A crazy plan. A crazy plan, chat. I thought of a crazy plan. If I have the batteries to do it. Well, chat, I had a plan. But I would need two batteries to do it, so alas, I won't be able to. I was thinking, chat, um... If I had two batteries, 
I could use them to turn on that remote and dr distract Super Toad long enough to steal his fucking fancy knife and then stab him in the neck. But um, I don't have the batteries for it because this game gatekeeps all of your gear. Uh, alas, I will literally never be able to get that uh, chat because um, I don't have the batteries for it. I'm sorry. Can you take them out of the flashlight? No, no, no. That wouldn't be possible. Chat. <laughs> That wouldn't be possible. Well, Was this save after I rescued everyone? I have everyone, right? I saved after I rescued everyone. I think. You can still try? Alright, explain to me how I could try without the two batteries I need to do the thing. If I stand up during any point where he can see me, He's going to get me, and fire me, and take the knife. Just believe it. Missing Kate. I know that Kate isn't something I can get, uh, before progressing the story. I'm 100%- I bet my fucking life on it. Um, she's the only character that the devs have put any real emphasis on the entire time. Uh, I don't get to reach her until later, and I'm 100% sure. Uh, she's not on my list. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. More of these fucking centuries. I fucked up. I was trying to go for this. Let's try to go for the table. That's okay. I couldn't see the table because of the way he was looking. I got confused. Wow, there's a lot of you. Ah. Uh. Okay, I can see that filing cabinet. That's where I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right. Also, my uh, my the head, the robot head, hasn't been following me. Um, but that's whatever. Yeah. Let's get to our goddamn destination. We can figure out the rest once we get there. Shame about the batteries thing, though. The last chance you got could be that the devs put two batteries in Hugo's room. There are no batteries in that room, chat. I'm gonna be honest. I was already in there when I was exploring before. And I'll tell you one thing. I definitely mashed E on everything in that room when Hugo couldn't see me. I definitely did it all. Here we go. It's time. There's absolutely no way Brian would know how to attach this body. No, nope, just no chance. Sintra, uh, I'm Brian. You remember me? We're Brian. Brian Pasternak. Go away, Brian. Ha is something wrong with you? Go away. I'm not leaving! He starts fucking crying like a baby. I don't wanna! Man! <laughs> what? Brian, you've been here a day. What the fuck is your, even your deal anymore? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Are we friends? I've been here a day. 
Get fucking slammed to the ground. Destroyed. Hey, let go of me now. We're not dating or anything. I I'm sorry. It's just a relief to see you again, Sintra. Wait, do you know who I am? My name is Pasternak. Of course I know who you are, stupid. I and stop calling me Sintra. That's what they called my father. My name is Ray, and this is how I always ch talked, even as a human child. I always spoke like this. Ah, okay. I'm a little confused. Yeah, it's confusing for me also. I think someone copied my memory and stored it in this robot shell. So, I mean... You're the girl in the picture now. The daughter of the family? This is really convenient, chat. Let's talk about how convenient this all was. We really gotta find Ray to stop the witch from killing everyone. It's a good thing that all of her memories were conveniently saved on this robot's uh, drive. So that they, that, so that Inay could conveniently have a robot body in his office so that we could conveniently go find it and plug it in. Therefore, conveniently having a robot with Ray's memories to defuse the witch situation. <laughs> Not only that, I also have access to the Sintranet records. That's why I recognized you. Wow, it feels good to be out again. I'm free at last. What's with the long face? I've seen the witch. And she's taken all my friends, not your friends, Brian. You've known them all for a day, at best. At very best. Is there anyone that you ever know for a day and you say, these are my friends? That's not how it works. That's not how friends work. Hey, wait, not all of them. Stop whining and let's go also. That was just, that was literally just, that was literally just to make him feel better. <laughs> to say that she's his friend uh, after all that. Hey, Sintra, you fucking body slammed him into the fucking pavement just 10 seconds ago. But that's, hey, whatever. Let's go, where to? To settle this whole thing once and for all, let's go talk to Damori. God, Tomato, you're such a cynic. I mean, look at where we are in this game setting. And you're gonna tell me that friendship is on anyone's mind? <laughs> and you're calling, and you're calling me a cynic. You mean the witch? Stop calling her that. She's not a witch, just like you're not a hunter. But do you know where she is? Of course, she's my sister. She'll be in her room as usual. Are you ready to go see her? Not really, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough witch paper to do that fucking thing. Nor do I think I'm going to have um, enough to do the thing. I guess I'll s I don't really want to save here though, because I haven't changed anything since the last save, so I'm not saving at that save point. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Let's get this over with. Wow! What? You look different, Brian. Is it the wounds? I've been patching myself up with coffee for the last four hours since I got here at this job. That's right, it's- I've just been- That's not how you're supposed to do it. But I've been plucking my wounds with pure coffee ground. I look different. Follow me. Ah, so I know where their rooms are. It's all those boarded up rooms down here. Well, uh... Creepy that they're all just looking at them. So, the witch is on the second floor? It's where my house is, well, where it was. What are all these planks doing here? 
shit, the strength of like two men. That's scary. I tried opening that with a screwdriver and it didn't work. Did you live here? Yeah, I think so. Although, it's all a little changed. Yeah. Is something wrong? Ah, gee, Br gee Brian. <laughs> hmm. Good choice of words. I don't know. Brian, you wait here. I think I'd better talk to Damori alone first. Okay, yeah. That's the nicest thing someone's ever said to Brian all day. All right. Laters. Huh? Huh? I I'm sure I came through here, but now there's only a wall. There's only a wall now, chat. I was gonna- I was gonna leave. My job's done. They'll solve it or not, maybe. I don't know. Uh... But I'm sealed in. And there are photos of the Sintra family. Everything is charred and blackened and smells burnt. Bunch of creepy seals. Walls full of paper with symbols on it. Let me guess. Here's the part where Brian follows her, even though he was told to wait because Brian is Brian. And that means... It's time for me to ignore everything I've been told. Here we go, chat. Just wait, no time. <laughs> I've done my- I've done enough. I've done- I, I've expl- I've pressed E on everything, chat. It's time to follow her without permission. Cause that's right, chat. That's right, at long last, over the course of a eight hour game, Brian has in fact had character development and is now, in fact, going to ignore orders and do something on his own. Hi. Ray? Hello? It's like, it's the remains of a big bonfire. So you're also going to tell me that uh, the Sintra family was kind enough to burn the poor girl uh, alive in her own room. Good shit. <laughs> the wall's burned. Looks like the rest of the room. Yeah, but is there a fucking hidden pickup here? It's the symbol of the snake, the same one that appears on the witch's papers. I... Oh. I don't see anything useful here. Oh cool, it gave me the witch paper I needed now. <laughs> Which means... I should probably save. Yeah, it gave me that a little bit late to get the contract yet. Alas, uh, it's too late now. Looks like we're gonna have to do a swim with with our normal human lungs. Chat. Let's do this. This is the end of the road. Where could Ray be? Unless... I guess I could get in the water, even though I hate swimming. Should I jump in the water? I suppose we'll... Yeah, we'll have to use our Class G lungs, chat. Our old Brian lungs. Maybe I could just wade in a little, maybe knee deep, and take a quick look. <laughs> what are you carrying, Brian? Lead? Eh, two batteries. Cool, needed that earlier, too. <laughs> Bubbles are coming out of these pipes. If I swim near them, I can get some air back and keep going. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, I have no idea how much energy, how much air I can carry, though. Let's test it right now. Let's see how long, how much time I have before my body starts to break down. He's still good. Still good? Still good? He can go a pretty long time. He can- he can hold it for a little bit. That's okay. 
for now, until they start tossing fucking enemies at me. Candy bar. Bunch of corpses. And now we go back. <laughs> Joe! Thanks for the host, man. Thank you very much. Uh, I will warn everyone that just came in from Joe's host there that, um, you are in hyper-maximum spoiler territory for a good story game. So, um, welcome. But if you are interested at all in the game Yuppie Psycho, which is a very, very good game, minus some bullshit, um, I would urge you to escape while you can before I move a second further. Because you are going to ruin the ending for yourself. And the majority of the plot. But if that's cool for you, then I will continue on. My name is Brian Pasternak. I got a job to kill a witch. And then I, I, I started to do it. And now the witch is mad and I'm going in to finish the job at long last. That's it. That's the whole story. I just gave you the Cliff Notes version. I'm a witch hunter killing a witch in an office building. Bada bing. Thanks again, Joe. Re real nice of you, pal. Uh, all right. I am excited to drown. I just realized my battery was on the whole time this was happening. It's a good thing they gave me more. Uh, I'm just gonna gun it. Try to find another pipe. Oh yeah, this game's gonna pull this shit with me, huh? Sent Brian down long hallways with no oxygen. Make him work for it. Make him get to the end and realize that it's uh, there's nothing down there. So I can. Oh, chat. Uh oh, chat. These devs have. Be it turns out the devs were clowns the whole time, chat. Uh oh. Meanwhile, there was one right over here. If only I knew which side it was which without trial and error, chat. If only br if only I could see down hallways. <sighs> At least I saved. Maybe you should save to reload to save your batteries. I'll be all right. I think glow sticks will be fine for the majority of this. It's all still visible. Like this whole Oh, you little you little bitch. Chat, everyone shut up. I gotta focus before I get exploded again. Cha! They gave me lots of pencils for this. Oh my fucking god. This is- this is cursed. I'm gonna die. Oh, we go ahead and die now. <laughs> Just kill me. Just kill me. It's cursed, chat. I take everything I- every, I take every nice thing I said about this game back. <laughs> I take it all back. Uh, this is fucking cursed. Holy shit. Alright, well. Let's go in again. At least now I know which ways are bad. Which ways are good. Okay. Hey, at least the water doesn't kill us instantly. They could have done that to us, too. They could have really fucked us up. Let me grab whatever's down here. Actually, there was stuff up that actually had loot. I should go get that. Oh, man. Imagine not having any witch paper, too. It's a good thing they give you one. Where is it? Candy bar. Candy bar! Where were the batteries? I got them. Okay. Uh, then let's roll. We're gonna try to not use the flashlight at all. Nothing down that way, that's a dead end. Spike plant. I know that, now I'm learning. And now a billion mines that way. So let's carefully go this way while getting ready to press I at a moment's notice. I feel like I've already wasted so much time that I have to go back to get oxygen, because I went too slow. Yeah, I definitely made the right decision. Man! What is this? Hang on. Is there like- Is there a looping sound effect of the sonic drowning music I can just play? For 20 minutes? While I do this? Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-
I have to guess. I have to guess where there might be more oxygen. Is there oxygen down this way? Yes, there is. Okay, so that way's all mine. I'm not even gonna bother exploring that way, but there was something down here. One mine. Oh, come on! I pressed Y instead of I! Oh! Ah, my friend, dude. Okay. Another VHS tape. Does that mean I can leave soon? I'm gonna get hurt so bad. Okay, well the spike thing didn't hurt very bad, and that's good. Um... Drowning does hurt, though. Okay, well... This wasn't even anything. What? I, I got drugs. I came this way for drugs. What? What are they? Nicoterol. Oh, all my health. That's a full health revive. Okay. So this got us around the mines. Some of them. There's oxygen up here. Alright. Shouldn't be long now. I'm sure Brian is definitely necessary to help poor Sintra kill the witch or stop them. <laughs> I'm sure all this will totally pay off for Brian uh, doing this whole swim. I sure hope when I get to the ending, it isn't all solved without him. And Brian just looks like a real jackass. I'm not close enough. Oh my fucking god. Can you believe that? Chat, let me replay what just happened there. I did the input, and while my character floated with momentum into it, I got hit by both of them. Alright. Yeah. I mean, hey! I mean, who am I? I ain't a game dev. I'm just tomato gaming. Well, let's just go. Yeah. What is this? Is this the exit? Huh. Why did I come in here? This is an endless labyrinth. I'm sure Ray is perfectly fine. I'm a fool for throwing myself in the water. Smartest thing he said all day. But the best thing is for me to turn around and go back the way I came in. Kate, is that you? Well, best thing to do in this situation, Chet, after hearing something like that, is revitalize myself by chucking two sodas underwater. Here we go. Let's do this. Think about this. They didn't. There's no. Oh. I better follow that small weird snake thing in the water! Chat, this is my chance! Ah! Ah! Where am I? Is this the office? No, it's not possible. Ah, oh, my head hurts. Why do I have a bandage? One candy bar. I need to use a sheet of paper to make this work. Yeah, that sounds good. It sounds like a good time. Wait a minute. You tell me I can't save in here. Oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> Even better. Alright. Looks like I'm on my own. Chat. Guess I'll get some water. Guess we'll have to do the whole water section again if I die. Now that's... Now that's horror, chat. <laughs> All right. Don't fucking throw up on me while I'm drifting towards you. Oh. All right. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. I need to turn down this music a little bit. Okay. It's like an ice level in Mario, yeah? Oh, that kills me. Where did the creature bite you? 
Um, my, my ears? Oh, I'm deaf now. Ah, uh, little snake bit my ears off, Jack. Ow. Well, at the very least now, in the peace of this exact moment, I'll just set this. Just play this on loop. It's like quiet, quietly in the background for the next 20 minutes while I do this. Ah, oh, yeah. That's about as much breath time as Brian has as a sandwich. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Alright, that's actually gonna drive me crazy. Where'd the creature bite me next? Well, with this logic, I think I just- No, chat, I think the actual answer is that I'm supposed to be getting bitten by it. Uh, I'm gonna say anything other than my eyes. Uh, for <laughs> For absolutely sure. Uh, let's say I can't- I can't smell anymore. You won't be able to hold your- Hey, Mike! You're gonna tell me! That Brian's been breathing in these bubbles with his nose. Everyone knows oxygen is stored in your nose sack. Chad, all my oxygen is stored within my nose sack. Oh, yeah. It's all in my nose sack. All of my stored breath. All right. You got it. See what the issue is with the like the this thing is that I can't really Hang on, there's a bunch of ducts. I got to open all these, but I'm also drowning and I can't it won't tell me when I'm drowning anymore because yep, I can't hear myself drown chat and that's the only way you could possibly know as a human. Whether or not you're drowning is by sound it, hearing your own mortal struggle. So, <laughs> so, so I just have to sort of wing it now. I should have just taken my fi my like pink slip and left. I should have just accepted. That's it. Brian's done. But here I am. Cog completely aware. Of the reality ahead of me. That, where's the fucking, oh my, yeah, here we go. Ow. Yep, ow. Yep, ow. Oh my god, it's gonna machine gun kill me now, huh? <laughs> oh! It doesn't, it come, it's doubled by the fact that he can't hold his breath between injuries. So if I run out of oxygen at all, I am pretty much instantly dead now. Okay. Give me a candy bar. A paper slides into the briefcase as a four. Oh no. Oh, it wants me to do fucking elevator codes with no oxygen. This is giving me lots of food. Hang on. One of these might work. One of them. Maybe? Three? Three bells. Four. Three bells. There's an elevator puzzle I have to do. This segment is incredibly easy, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's hard. I just think it's tedious as sin. Um, compounded by the fact that the devs have decided uh, to give me a setting that removes my ability to breathe. Added on to the fact that I cannot save. Uh, I have to do the whole water sequence before this again. And I don't even think I can breathe long enough to get to the other side without starting to suffocate. Yeah, if I if I didn't get to that right then, I was going to start suffocating and dying again. So I can't, like, detour. I have to go directly to my next destination. Every time. It might have auto-saved. That's what we said last time, uh, when the robot slayed me. I mean, it's giving me a billion food, but, like, I don't- I can't stop because my oxygen actually depletes while I'm collecting as well. So, um, I can take about 10 seconds to pick something up, and then I immediately 
have to move on. I got about, I, I, if I die and I do this again, I'll take nose as like my last injury. For sure. Well, after eyes. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, are you sure? Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> Alright. Start over? That won't be happening, chat. I'm winning this fucking game with my soggy sandwiches. A two. What is... What exactly does this want for me? Two? Four. Three bells. And some bullshit. I have to get rid of this thing. I have to kill this. Okay. I just have to like go to every single one of these. Pretty much. God. Oh, there's a- No, don't touch me! I don't want to lose anything else, dude. Get away. Get away from me. Not yet. Ow! Where did the creature bite me? My hands. You won't be able to pick anything up any- Chat, give me the fucking rest of the code. Just cheat it for me. Like, for real, just cheat it for me. Tell me what the answer to the code is. Right now, please. Give me the rest of the code. <laughs> just give it to me. Come on. I'm not- it's not a trap. I'm serious, it's not or I look it up personally. Two, four, six, eight. So it's bell, bell, bell. Two, four, six, eight. Oh. Oh. Alright. Let's try it. I- <laughs> Ow. Oh, the ending so far ha chat, the ending so far has not been good. Hey, man. Are you me? Mr. Devil. This is not the way out, Brian. She's right behind this wall. If I were you, I'd get out of this elevator as soon as possible. Stop running away now. Aren't you a hunter? Go out there, find five of those elusive white parasites. Those parasites are the ones infecting the whole company. All right. Bell... Bell. Bell. Two. Four. Six. Eight. What a fucking dumbass piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! I'm gonna drown if I fucking wait any longer, huh? Stab it. Who am I? You Kate. Got him. Brian. Brian. <laughs> Are you okay? You were close to the exit. Did you run out of air? You tell- you, I just like fucking... She was good the whole time. I came after him for nothing. No, I, I- I don't know. I was- I was trapped. It's hard to explain. It was like being kept prisoner in a nightmare. I thought that- that- Easy. I understand you better than anyone, Brian. You are now free. Oh, you've also known me for about a day. As well. The girl! What? What? What does this mean? Huh? What? Huh? Nani? What? 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 Huh? What's my body doing there? Is that you? It's impossible. Records say I'm buried in the mausoleum with my parents. Wait a second, that's not true. What? I managed to get into the cemetery and your grave was empty. By the way, I grave robbed you. 
I st I, I looked, I broke into your grave. Casually uh, admitting to it. Nice, Ryan. Good laugh. Good laugh. That was a bad laugh. This isn't just your body. Damari's inside of it. Big plant. Oh, I know that's the that's the that's the. You goddamn monster! I knew you were behind this. It's good to see you too. Thank you, Brian. Without you, this reunion would not have been possible. Stop messing around and let Damari go. She doesn't belong to you. Funny you should say that. You're the people who brought her. Who bought her like she was an animal. I remind you that I've been with her for thousands of years. I'm her only true friend. It is I, HR monster. You think that you're her friend? Ha! Huh? You are just an ornament. A worthless tr trinket. Also, uh... Creepy snake tongue thing isn't wrong. Um, keep in mind as we move forward in this story, the Sintra family opted to instead of going to an adoption center to get a child, uh, they got. And keep this in mind again. They decide to go to a back alley and find a street urchin in the black market and purchase a demon child instead. Uh, that's right. Adoptions are overrated. Um, they purchased a child from a cage. From the black market. And that was their first plan. I'm her sister, you understand? Her sister? <laughs> her sister, she says. You're so naive. Stop hiding and explain to me why Damari has my body. So much time has passed since then, I don't remember. Things have changed a lot around here. Big snake! Oh, yeah! What the fuck? I see how well you've done, how fat you're getting. It's the big snake the whole time, just a big ass is the snake from, yeah, Sekiro. It's a big ass snake. Did you have fun corrupting everything around you? You don't know how much. Now I only have one last thing left to break. Let's see what Damari thinks of all this when I wake her up. Don't you dare go near her. Never more! <sighs> Brian! Brian! Wake her up! Man, that robot's tough. H how? Wake up, Damari! Fuck you, just do it! Alright. Eh. Ah. Uh, eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Hey! Wake up! <laughs> Alright! Ha ha! How do I do it? Um. I have an idea. I knew this would come in handy eventually, chat. The magic of friendship. Ah! Oh! Brian died. That was a- she threw him like a fucking mile. Gets excited because she hears like a jingling sound. <laughs> this is essentially the equivalent of me jingling the keys at chat and chat getting excited during Vermintide. Ha! Huh? Keys? 
Oh, she knows it's because it means her sister's on her way because of the bells she always wore. Hey, little sister. This remember, this is how she always talked. This is how, this was her lore, as decided by me. She always talked like a robot. I can't stay and play with you today. Some of my friends are coming to the pool and don't look at me like that, okay? Honestly, I'm sick of being stuck in here playing with dolls because our parents are crazy and keep you locked up in here like psychos. And I don't care if daddy gets angry. I'm not a child anymore. Goodbye. Wow. I don't feel bad for their family uh, going into complete and absolute ruin whatsoever. <laughs> uh, sad shit. Watching you cry breaks my heart. Why does someone so innocent have to suffer like this over and over again? And in the end, as usual, there's just the two of us. Don't be that way, ma'am. I just want to comfort you. If you want that girl to be your friend so badly, I know a way you could make it forever. You just have to use your own powers, ma'am. I'm sorry, little sister. I'm an idiot. I didn't know that I was hurting your feelings by leaving you in that literal cage with an armed guard at the door. I thought when you were crying, you just had something in both of your eyes, simultaneously. That was my B. I'll take the L on that one, Damari. Wait a second, but then... The family never burned the witch, instead they burned you, Ray? It doesn't matter anymore, Brian. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the important thing is that we're both together again and that it will never happen again. Uh, wait. Hang on. This story has taken an, a fucking dive bomb uh, straight into the fucking ground. Like the pilot got something in both of his eyes. Uh, for the story plane and did a th did, just did like a 90 degree dive bomb straight into the tree line um they you're gonna tell me that the snake made them body swap and then the family was like where's our daughter you you did you so Damori who's now in Ray's body got trapped inside a crystal hidden by the snake after they body swapped, and then Damari's body with Ray was burned alive. And you're gonna tell me that they, the family didn't think at one point, hmm, you know, it's weird that Damari doesn't know how to speak any language whatsoever and just constantly says dot 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 when we meet, whenever we try to interact with them. But for some reason now that we're trying to burn her alive, she's yelling, I'm Ray, I'm Ray, oh god, stop, please, ah, it hurts, you're burning me alive, I'm Ray, I now know how to speak fluent, fluent English, um. Mayday, mayday, the story's going down, it's going down, I can't, I can't pull it, ah! Okay. Huh. No, it doesn't matter. There's still something important left to do. What do you mean? Put things in their place. And with Demori's help, maybe we can do it. Here we fucking go again. The only character I still care about. Pastinac! 
Have you come to know the great secret of Sintracorp? The true identity of Super Toad. It's me, Hugo. Again. Hey. You're in shock. You didn't expect that. I want to talk to you. Of course. You can tell me your suggestions and concerns. The CEO is always there to help his employees. Well? Would you get off the table? Oh, what a fool. We've already had this conversation to some extent. I want to know. Wait. You're not still drunk, are you? You say very hurtful things when you're drunk. I'm not. I'm not drunk. I want to know why you've been harassing me. You've been standing in my way the whole time. Why, what have I done to you? Look, Brian, I'll be honest with you. I knew you were a hunter and that could jeopardize my promotion. I tried to go the easy way and I told you not to take your job too seriously. That you should just wander around like everybody else, but you turned out to be very stubborn and kept making progress. That's why I wanted to kill you. That's why I wanted you dead. Yeah, I know I didn't do this on the save. I don't get it. What's your relationship with the witch? Oh man, well, since we've already seen all this, I'll still cover it again since there are some new people here now. Without the witch, I couldn't have made it this far. I'll put prey on the plate for her, send people her way, as long as it's in my best interest, of course. But as dangerous as she is, how come she hasn't killed you yet? Well, you always keep a couple of tricks in your pocket. Does the name Corvo mean anything to you? He told me everything I needed to know to keep the witch in check. I saw Corvo's body in that poison pool. You, you killed him? Ha, 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 ha. Haven't you seen the fat ass I have? Again, we've all seen it. I could never kill anyone. As a matter of fact, I, if I close my eyes, it's all I see, Hugo. It's the witch who kills everyone. Don't give me that face. I've been working on this for a lot of years, okay? You are the only per- You've only been- I've only been here for a day, and everything you've done, I can't imagine all the people who've trampled on all these years. Don't you think about anyone but yourself? What about all the people who came to celebrate your birthday today? You don't care, of course. Get the fuck out of here. I'm no more selfish than you are. All day long, I've only seen you do things for your own good. That's not true. I, I ringed the bell at a, a dead girl's face and she woke up. And then my brain exploded because uh, none, of, none of it made much sense up until right now. You came in here with your tail between your legs, making me feel sorry for you, a class G poor thing, by entering directly into the fifth floor of the largest company. It's not my fault that I belong to a lower class, and besides, this company takes advantage of poor people like me and uses them as bait for the witch. All of us! All of us are used as bait for the witch! Everyone in this company is bait, not just you, Brian. Fucking class R, here he goes again. You're lucky you have a last name. My last name is 80085. Do you know how, sad, how bad that is? You know what I I thought your last name was Hugo. Hugo is not my last name. In fact, it's not even my name. When you're born a class R, they put a number on you. Having a last name would mean you have a family. Having met your parents, that's a privilege. Are you class R? What do you care? I didn't know that. Besides, I don't go around proclaiming it to everyone. I don't go tell everyone my name is, my last name is 8008S. Five? Why would I do that? But hey, one day if you want to have a cup of coffee, I can tell you all about that whole can of worms. Until I got here. Get this straight, Pasternak. No one can trample on others more rightfully than I can. No one in this company deserves this position more than I do. Nobody, Brian. I am Super Toad. You're a coward, Hugo. Oh, really? Me? Then what are you then? I'm not one. <laughs> oh, Brian. Think of better things to say. Ha! Huh? I have no problem admitting that something scares me. 
or that I can't do it. It's all I've done all day is say, I can't do this and I can't do this. It's all I know how to do. I'm not hiding behind a mask. I make my inability to do almost anything very, very, very front and center in every conversation I have. I can't stop myself from telling people how incompetent I am, Hugo. I trust others to know that and respect me anyways. And they help me achieve everything that seems impossible. Whatever you say, Brian, you have the power of friendship from all the people you met today that barely even know your name, Brian. I'm sure they're all such good friends of yours. You've known them for a day, Brian. But what have you got out of it? I am the king of the world. What about you? I've dealt with the witch. Really, we, did, we didn't. Hang on, we didn't. Wait a minute. What about the giant fucking snake? Wait, what about the giant fucking snake? Or is that not a problem now? <laughs> I guess it's whatever. Off screen, Sintra, Ray just fucking tackled it. <laughs> Ray fucking suplexed it into the water and it drowned. We got it, chat. It's over. I've dealt with the witch. What? You mean I'm gonna have to actually manage this company now? Congratulations! Then I terminate your contract and you'll get the 20,000 credit bonus immediately. Wait. First, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Hello, Hugo. I've been looking forward to meeting you. It looks like Ray is somehow back in her body, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. This is Ray Sintra, the heiress of the family. Yeah. According to the company's bylaws, she has the right to be the CEO of Sintra Corp. What are you talking about? That's impossible. You're not gonna get in my way, Brian. That girl disappeared a long time ago, and if that were really her, she'd be a lot older. How do you intend to prove it? Well... <laughs> I'm gonna operate on the lore assumption that we won't prove it. <laughs> we'll just sort of take it anyways, like she just did by sitting in the chair. That means she's CEO, chat. It's her. Hey, you, get down from there. Okay, she proved it. <laughs> did you see that? The company recognizes me. It's all mine now, Mr. Frog. This is, this is some kind of spell! I'm sorry, Hugo, but it's true. <laughs> ha he he hoo ha ha. Wait, 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 wait. We can make a deal. What are you talking about? What kind of deal? Well, we could. There is no deal. There's no deal. <laughs> ha he he. Fired! Croak, 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 fired! Okay. <laughs> She's the witch! He had a knife this whole time! The dagger! She's the witch! Whoa. He's like, dead as shit, chat. <laughs> she, she punched his face off. I'm not the witch, stupid, but my sister sure is. Ha 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 Chat, laugh with her, chat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's over, I guess. It's over, chat. It's all over, for real this time. I have my dismissal letter. I can leave this madhouse and go home. My parents won't believe everything that's happened to me. Yeah, well.
Hello, Chapman. Please call me Tony. Uh, okay. Brian, I owe you an apology. I've been such an asshole to you. So, today, for the first time in my life, I have felt what it is like to be of a lower class, abandoned with the rabble, just one more nameless drone, forced to work on stupid tasks with no one to care. And that has left me to reflect on my past deeds, Brian. I thought that because of my status and my family, I had a place, I, I had a place set aside for me that stood out from the rest. But I've come to realize over the course of four hours and learning no lessons until literally 30 seconds ago that my character has to develop for there to be any meaningful ending to this game. I've come to the realization that this is something you have to earn by yourself, Brian. And it is because of you, Brian. You've changed my life as a result of, what is it? Six gameplay interactions we've had. Me? Someone like you from the suburbs who's made his way up to the top floors, making it clear that no one has ever given you anything. And without ever losing that humility so typical of the lower classes. Helping your workmates at that sad party. Always talking to everyone in a good, kind way. Even me after I insulted you repeatedly. You've shown me that you're a great person. And that's what inspired me. Gee, I... I don't know what to say, Tony. Wait, look on your face. You're not gonna yell at me, are you? <laughs> are you deaf? Or do you not wash your ears? I've told you I've changed. Or do you want me to yell at you? No, no, that's cool. Guys, Tony changed. It's true. I'm sure he'll take the lessons he learned from speaking to someone that's lower than his class for all of 15 minutes from today with him for the rest of his life. How are you doing, Sosa? My eyes are sore. What happened at the party? I feel strange. We were attacked by the witch. So are all dead? Am I a ghost? No, no, it's okay. I managed to end the witch's curse. Unbelievable, Pastor Nat. So you're a professional... Esotericist of the highest level. I was sure of it. Even if you denied it, you looked like someone with great extrasensory powers. If you say so. By the way, what happened to our office partner? Hugo? You can relax. His face got fucking destroyed by a robot. But we won't talk about that. He's been fired. Forever. And ever. From life itself. Forever. I could not have thought of a better punishment for him. It must have completely destroyed him. Yeah? He sure was completely destroyed, chat. That's how I would describe the corpse on that wall. Hello, Doshi. Are you alright? Hey, dude. Tell me you didn't get rid of what was in my lab. I just stopped by and she, she's not there. The robot? I finished it. What? She's on the 10th floor right now. Bye. I suppose. Dude, he's gonna get fired. <laughs> I should have warned him. They're on a firing spree up there. Uh oh. Here comes the king of the party. You drank yourself into oblivion, parsnip. We can continue the party at my place if you want. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, but look what a tart you are, Malone. Because I hang out with bad company like you, I think I'll leave you to a lump. Well. Kate, what, what are you doing here? It's almost as if I saved everyone properly. Some first day, huh? Yeah, you can say that again. Here, I made this- I made you this. Wow, a coffee. Chat, if you were to do a slow pan zoom out to Brian's body and clothing right now, you'd see that his entire suit was drenched with hot coffee. Because it's all I've been- it's literally all I've used to plug wounds since I started. I've drank nothing but coffee the whole day. I've drank about 40 cups. Um, it's- it, my blood has been replaced with the shit. I don't need more. I'll tell you what. <laughs>
But thanks. I thought that now that the day's over, we could finally have that coffee I promised you. I'm told the view from the rooftops is amazing. Ah, I was just about to take the first train out to the suburbs. I, I don't know if I'll have the time. Oh, you're quitting your job? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Kate. Do you, do you remember what happened at the canteen? Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, I may never speak to any of you complete fucking maniacs ever again till the day I die. And that would be too soon. Yes, I actually got- I, I have my letter of dismissal right here. It's hard to explain, but let's just say I wasn't cut out for this job. It wasn't all a mistake. Wouldn't- hang on. Logically right now, and I know that I'm gonna detour for a second here, chat. Wouldn't it have been the smartest thing ever, after all the shit Brian did, to stay and get freebie paychecks in the mail literally every day as a class A with, like, the two functional people upstairs that he did a huge favor by saving the two of them? No, I'm good now. Now that the monster's gone, I'm good, dude. <laughs> what if a second witch shows up? I wasn't cut out for this job. It was all a mistake. Are you gonna stay? I know it sounds crazy with everything that's happened, but I think it's best for me to stay. I've learned a lot today, and I'm sure that tomorrow everything will be easier. That every day passes will get better. I, it's going to be tough, I'm sure, but I guess that's what this is all about, isn't it? I'm sorry you have to leave, Brian. Come visit us soon. Remember, we're friends now. They're all crazy. Everyone here is fucking psycho. Literally everyone here is psycho, chat. They're all fucking- this is a madhouse. This is a madhouse. I'm gonna follow her. To the roof, I guess. But chat. Everyone here is fucking crazy. <laughs> Literally everyone. She was so sweet, and also crazy. I'm going to stay. <laughs> I'm going to stay, there's bodies everywhere. I... You see what, the smart thing for Brian to do would be to take photographic evidence of all this and make a million fucking bucks selling this goddamn story to news, to news outlets. Uh, and have this company completely fucking taken out by the, like, by the government. Uh, but yeah. Write a book about it. Wow. I guess the lesson of the story chat is that there are even more gruesome, massive capitalist pig companies out there than Brian's, because this building was admittedly pretty Pretty, pretty, pretty short floor height compared to all these neon lights. Wow, Brian. What did we learn? What is this? A fancy landscape was the ending. That was my reward. There's other endings, though. Oh, oh. Hey, this bathroom smells like ass, doesn't it? I think I know what's causing it. Look at this. Hey, you scum! It's him. Yeah, you! Let's see you wash up and... Change your clothes once in a while, you stink! <laughs> you found 30 credits. Mr. Hugo. 
Mr. Hugo. Wow. And just like that, he committed a fucking felony of identity theft. Huh. Hey, chat. Um. That ending fucking sucked donkey dick. <laughs> uh. Now this might, this might be a, this might be a hot take. But, um, I would have preferred never beating this game. Because the first half, the first two sessions of this game were so good. And that was the worst shit I've had to do in a long, long time from start to finish. That was sad. That actually like, bummed me out. The only good part was Hugo getting his face caved in by a robot. But, like, you believe they're making DLC? I mean, the ending already exists. There's nothing... Explaining it wouldn't help. The entire way that they came to the ending sucked. Like... I don't know. It was just all... It was just like one... Ah, yes! The solution is here. Now the solution is this thing. We've magically solved it. Oh, and now they body swapped again, so everything's cool now, and the robot is in the right spot. It was just like, and the snake is good now, chat. The snake was on the robot's neck, so that must mean the snake is diffused, because I guess Damori just decided to fix it with the snap of a finger. Uh, DLC can't fix this game. Awesome, awesome game. Uh, all the way up to the very... Pretty much everything after the sequence with the birthday party was great. Was fucking awesome. Like, stellar. And then... Uh... They blew it. <laughs> they blew it, chat. They blew it all. But that's okay. Because we're gonna try out something else for a bit. I am gonna do speed dating for ghosts, which is... Uh, supposed to be really good. Uh, just a goofy... Little one-off thing we'll try for a bit. And we'll sort of palate cleanse with some good fucking writing in a goofy game about speed dating with ghosts. Play stalker nerd? No. No. Don't ask me again. Schnoodly, thanks for the 500 bits. Hobo guy one, thanks for the three months prime. Sprizzle, eight months, thanks. Dead boy, thanks for the 100 bits. Water, boys, we found it! We can no longer be tried! That was happening during the water sequence. Uh, Smart Dagather, thank you for the tier two subscription for seven months. Thank you very much. Infernus, thanks for the eight months. Hi, just making my way through the VOD to get what I missed. Also, hi past me in about an hour. Hi. Mad Mike, 041, thanks for the prime. Six months. But tomato, friendship is magic, and magic is heresy. Yeah. It was literally the solution was friendship all along. Genuinely, that was the ending of this fucking story. I don't even want to listen to the music anymore. The so chat, the lesson we learned along the way was literally that if you make friends, anything is possible. I changed all their lives by talking to them like they were human beings for about two minutes. I like that game a lot, but like fucking hell. If you're a story game and your main focus is on making a good story, you gotta nail the ending, man. You gotta have, like, I can let a lot of games get by with bad stories if it's like a shooter. Like, it's not the main focus of their time. But like, if your game's a story, at the very least, you better make it make sense. You know? I don't want to have to see the devs say, Ah, uh, we're going to explain it in a DLC. <laughs> no, that means you didn't do it right when you wrote it, pal. And that totally cheapens the ending. And if you're a story game, uh, the most important thing you want to do for sales and the success of your game is having people walk away from the ending and say, I want other people to share this experience with me and then tell my friends. Um, and now I can't tell my friends... To, I can't in good faith tell my friends to play this game because I know they'd walk away in most cases with the same feeling I'm walking away with of 
I wish I didn't finish it. I wish I had stopped at the last session and never finished it and just let it go away forever. But hey, I'll tell my enemies. That's right, chat. We'll tell my enemies. All right, let's play this. This should be some good shit from what I've heard. Like some really good shit. Speed dating for ghosts. Let me put this in.